In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I am dearly beloved in Christ, and Father, Emmanuel, and I and Allah share with you a touch of God's love, thus a short reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Sunday, 1st September 2024, 22nd week in ordinary time. The readings are taken from Deuteronomy 4, 2, 6 to 8, Psalm 14, 2 to 5, James 1, 17, 21 to 22, 27, Mark 7, 1 to 8, 14 to 15, 21 to 23. The theme of the reflection is how God's promises can be fulfilled in you. How God's promises can be fulfilled in your life. The first reading says, Moses said to the people, Now, Israel, take notice of the laws and customs that I teach you today, and observe, the, observe them that you may have life and may enter and take possession of the land that the Lord, the God of your fathers, has given you. You must add nothing to what I command you, and take nothing from it, but keep the commandments of the Lord your God, just as I laid them down for you. Keep them, observe them, and they will demonstrate to the peoples your, your wisdom and understanding. When they come to know of all these laws, they will exclaim, No other people is as wise and prudent as this great nation. And indeed, what great nation is there that has its God so near as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call to Him? And what great nation is there that has laws and customs to match this whole law that I put before you today? And the second reading says, it is all that is good, everything that is perfect, which is given us from above. It comes down from the Father of all lights. With Him there is no such thing as alienation. There is no such thing as alteration, no shadow of a change. By His own choice, He made us His children by the message of the truth so that we should be a sort of first fruits of all that he has created. So do away with all the impurities and bad habits that are still left in you. Accept and submit to the word which has been planted in you and can save your souls. But you must do what the word tells you and not just listen to it and deceive yourselves. Pure unspoiled religion. In the eyes of God our Father is this, coming to the help of orphans and widows when they, are in, when they need it, and keeping oneself uncontaminated by the world. Then the Gospel says, The Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come, down, who had come from Jerusalem gathered round Jesus, and they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with unclean hands, that is, without washing them. But the Pharisees and the Jews in general follow the tradition of the elders and never eat without washing their arms as far as the elbow. And on returning from the marketplace, they never eat without first sprinkling themselves. There, there are also many other observances which have been handed down to them concerning the washing of cups and pots and bronze dishes. So these Pharisees and scribes ask him, Why do your disciples not respect the tradition of the elders, but eat their food with unclean hands? He answered, he answered It was of you hypocrites that Isaiah so rightly prophesied in this passage of scripture. This people honest me only what this people honest me only with their lips. This people honest me only with lip service, while their hearts are far from me. The worship they offer me is worthless. The doctrines they teach are only human regulations. You put aside the commandment of God to cling to human traditions. He called the people to him again and said, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that goes into a man from outside can make him unclean. 
It is the things that come out of a man that make him unclean. For it is from within, from man's heart, that evil intentions emerge. Fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, malice, deceit, indecency, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evil things come from within and make a man unclean. Beloved, the first reading shows that when we obey the laws of God without adding or subtracting anything from them, we will live in the promised land, that is, the kingdom of God. We will be wise and prudent and be blessed. How can we obey the laws of God? The Gospel teaches us how. It says, it shows that the Pharisees and scribes of Jesus, Jesus' time, did not understand how to obey God's laws. They thought that keeping God's laws meant observing liturgical rules and religious rituals, such as washing of hands before eating. Anyone who ate without washing hands was thought to be unclean, that is, unfit to be in the kingdom of God, was not wise and prudent and was not blessed. However, Jesus told them that they worshipped God for their lips, but their hearts were far from God, and that it is not what enters people which make them unclean, but what comes out of them. It implies that observing only liturgical rules and religious rituals is worshipping God only with lips, and to worship God with a heart means obeying liturgical rules and religious rituals and relating well with everyone relating well with everyone when we relate well with everyone we will not commit fornication theft murder adultery avarice malice deceit indecency envy slander pride and folly any evil such as these cancels our weakens our commitment to liturgical rules and denies us of the kingdom of God, of wisdom and prudence and of blessings. That is why in the second reading, St. James says, Only good and perfect things come from the Heavenly Father. That means, if we claim to be children of God, we should not do bad things, but only good things. So, he says, we should do away with all the impurities and bad habits that are still left in us and not only listen to the word of God but also put it into practice else we are deceiving ourselves. And, and he says, this includes assisting people who are in need such as widows and orphans because pure and unspoiled religion is coming to the help of orphans and widows who are in need and keeping oneself uncontaminated by the world. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to obey the liturgical rules and religious rituals and also relate well with everyone and assist people who are in need. In the name of Jesus, the promises of God will be fulfilled in your life. Amen. Can you share God's love by sharing this message with others and subscribing to this YouTube channel? The, uh, the subscribe to this YouTube channel to enable us to do more. The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. Psalm 1, 1 to 3 says that to also love and meditate on the word of God day and night are blessed. May this become a reality in your life. May Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.